What's up, y'all? I wanted to give a quick review on DoorDash versus Uber Eats. Um, I've been driving with DoorDash for a while now. i um, never been a big fan of it. Um, it seems like they're, I guess they're fairly a new company, I guess, or either that or they just haven't gotten their stuff together yet. But it's just been always chaotic driving with DoorDash, I'll be honest with you. Um, uh, it's always something, the most recent one that made me stop driving with them was when I picked up a, well, I got a request to pick up an order, and literally when I hit request, uh, accept, I got a call from DoorDash asking me if I picked up the food yet, and I'm like, no, I just got the request like five seconds ago, and they're like, oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we'll, um, we'll go ahead and get the food and uh, let us know if you have any problems, which kind of threw me for a loop, so, so it took me 10 minutes to get to the place, um, and when I got there, I hit, you know, I've arrived, and it tells me to go ahead and place the order. So I'm thinking to myself, why could, if you had time to call me, why don't you go ahead and call the restaurant and place the order for the customer? Why are you calling me? But um, anyway, I got there, placed the order for the customer. It signaled me for me to use the red card to pay with. So I go to give the uh, red card, and it's declined. They swipe it again, still declined. Um, and I think when it's declined, it automatically sends a notification to DoorDash. And um, I can't remember if they contacted me or if I had to call them. Um, but anyway, they got it situated, uh, kind of embarrassing, uh, but um, got, they got it situated, uh, and next time I swiped, it went through. Um, so I'm sitting in the place for like 45 minutes waiting for the food. I knew it was going to be a problem because when I got there, there were people in there complaining they'd been waiting 20 minutes, 25 minutes for their food, and they were, and the place was just seemed like chaotic itself. You know, they were making to-go orders for here and making for here orders they were making to-go orders for here and, you know, whatever, but it was just kind of chaotic in there. Um, but I would, I, that situation caused me to swing to, or go to check out Uber Eats to see what they were about. And um, so I already drive for Uber and I guess, you know, I kept seeing the notification to try out Uber Eats. So I went ahead and finally did that. Um, got accepted and they didn't even tell me I got accepted I just was doing Uber and next thing you know it told me to pick up some food and I kind of declined it because I wasn't really familiar or ready for it I was like I didn't know what, what I was supposed to be doing I didn't even have a bag yet for Uber Eats um, or a hot bag I mean for Uber Eats so um, so finally I accepted one and uh, thank God it was a salad um, so I'd have to worry about keeping it hot but I went to go pick it up uh, it was ready to go sitting there receipt I was in and out and um, I've done a few Uber Eat drop-offs, and I don't know if Uber is telling the customer this to do this or not, but every time I went to go drop it off, they've been outside waiting for it. Like, literally, I haven't had to get out of my car yet, so I'm passing it through the window. So I'm wondering if they're telling them this or not, or people are just hungry and just can't wait to get their food. But, um, but I definitely love how Uber Eats has their stuff together. They're definitely, definitely in order. Um, only downside to it, you can't separate Uber driving and Uber Eats. You got to do both. So um, you just got to hope for Uber Eats order and you know, while you're picking up passengers. And So I wish they had a way to separate the two. Um, I got a friend, or a co-worker I should say, not a friend, um, who wants to drive for Uber Eats. She's done DoorDash. I kind of hipped her to DoorDash. She's been driving for DoorDash and... Um, and she had some issue with DoorDash and Daily Pay. DoorDash wouldn't pay Daily Pay there because Daily, well, if you know how Daily Pay works, they kind of give you money in advance and they get their money back from whoever you're working for. So DoorDash never paid them. So Daily Pay gave her a negative balance until she situated with with uh, DoorDash. DoorDash refuses to get back in touch with her. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that, but like I said, DoorDash, they just, I don't know if they're just because they're a new company or whatever, but they, they still don't have their stuff together. Um, so we'll see, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with them, but maybe in a year or two they'll, they'll be, have their stuff together, but right now, um, I'd love to stick with Uber Eats, which I can do it regularly without having to deal with, um, uh, Uber, you know, not separating the two, but, you know. If you had to do one, I would choose Uber Eats. Um, unfortunately, you can't. You have to do Uber with it. Um, maybe you have better experience with Daily Pay. Maybe I'm. Maybe it's just me. I'm probably draw that kind of crowd. But I'm here in Atlanta, um, and you know, 
the customers are okay. It was just the you know the the chaos with daily pay of the picking up the food and their um their their chaos, for the lack of a better word. But um, you have any comments or questions on you know your experiences or I love to hear your experiences with it too. Maybe I just let me know it's not just me. Um, uh, or let me know if it is just me. Or just give me your opinion or comment in the comment section below. Also, if you want to sign up with Daily Pay, I always keep a link on my um, my reviews here for this kind of thing. So uh, just check the bottom out in the description, or maybe I'll have it flashing at the bottom. And uh, and go ahead and sign up with Daily Pay if you haven't done that yet. You know, it's definitely definitely worth it. There's no sense in waiting a week for your money. Um, so go ahead and sign up with Daily Pay, definitely. And I'll put a link down there for you. So if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I will catch you on the next review. Later.